Alright, we got our van here. Any, any tips for driving this thing? Just slow on sharp turns. <laughs> slow on sharp turns, that's a good tip. That's Thanks, good. Oh yeah, here we go. What's up, runners? Today, Team TRE is teaching you the best way to pack your van for a relay race. Let's ride. So what fun would this video be on packing for a relay if I didn't have one of my teammates here with me, Coach Morgan and Coach Holly, showing you how to get it done today. Now guys, before we get into this video, I wanna thank Aftershocks Headphones for sponsoring. These headphones are a huge part of why we get through something so long as one of these relay races. They keep us motivated throughout with those music and podcasts and everything else. And stick around later for more details on how you can try a pair yourself. So as you can see, we have all this stuff down here and we need to get it in the van. Today, our goal is to give you checklists on all the stuff that I have here from nutrition, gear, recovery tools, all that stuff so that you can show up and be prepared and take some of that guesswork out of what do I pack in my van? How do I prepare for this thing so that you can show up and you've got clean clothes, enough food for everybody, and enough water to get you through this long race. All right guys, so we are gonna be running a lot and we are gonna start with that gear that we need. So the best way to go about packing your gear for so many people is knowing where everything is. And the more you know before you pack it all in the van, the better off you will be. But the way we like to do this is picking corners or seats in the van where you know your stuff is going to be. From there you consolidate and within that consolidation you break everything up so you know exactly what you need when you need it. Morgan has a great system for this she's going to share with you guys right now. So for in those individual bags, the best way that we've found is putting everything into Ziploc plastic baggies. So every outfit that you're going to have, you're going to put into a bag. I got my socks, sports bra, everything that I'm going to want that day. And I'm going to write leg number one or day one, however you're doing it. So I'm going to put that into my bag. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that for every single outfit that I have every single day even my recovery clothes, just in case we get water spilled, food spilled, something like that, so that it keeps everything safe and dry. And once I'm done with this outfit, after I wear it, the sweaty clothes are gonna go right back in here, zip it up so that nobody else has to smell it. Exactly. So with those compartmentalizing, you'll be able to keep track of all of your stuff. Remember, all those bags keep everything light. And of course, with the labeling, it makes it easier to know whose is whose. With the recovery clothes, that's not a part to be forgotten. We have a few things here to show you guys. You will be in this van a lot, so you wanna make sure you're comfortable. Making sure you have something other than sneakers, that's super important to let those feet breathe. Our favorite TRE socks, which these are just the best. Letting yourself just kind of be in another mode when you're not running, that helps separate this whole thing out. Your favorite sweats, joggers. Um, you're gonna also be traveling probably somewhere to a little bit different of a climate. So for example, if we were running the one from San Francisco all the way out to wine country, Napa, Sonoma, we're gonna see a significant increase in temperature. So just accounting for that, you know, you're running 200 miles in some of these races and you're gonna wanna know what you have coming up. Now you are gonna be running at three different points of the day. So that's gonna basically create this wide range of weather and different temperatures. So you wanna be prepared for everything. And with a few accessories, you can do this without, without having to bring so many extra clothes. So first thing in that heat on the sunnier side of the day, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have, of course, your sunglasses. Always bringing an extra pair to have for a friend is crucial to make sure everyone in the van is set there. Hat is always a good idea. Keep that heat out, keep the sun out of your eyes, no headaches, that is always helpful. Now with these buffs, these are actually multi-purpose. You can definitely use them for heat. You can soak them in water and put them around your neck, wipe sweat, keep them on your wrist. Great, just light, thin layer to have. Um, these are also great for the cool weather. So moving into that, this can add an extra layer around your ears or your head to keep you warm when you're running at night. You can grab high socks. So if you were in shorts, if you only brought those to run in, a pair of high socks goes a long way when it starts to get cool and dark. Arm sleeves are great because if you are someone who runs in short sleeves or a tank, this just adds that extra layer without, again, having to add another layer on top of what you're wearing. So that's awesome for the nighttime. Of course, gloves, if it really started to get cold on you or you were really running during one of those conditions, you would be prepared there. And of course, um, from an old race, you can always grab an extra foil blanket, especially right after you finish, right as you're getting into the van before you get changed. This is a great way to protect so you don't get super cold right after you're running that leg. Lastly, 
in that foul weather possibility, you know, with the rain and potentially storms, you want to make sure that you have an extra layer, so a shell. A nice thin lightweight one always helps here because if you if the rain did stop after a couple of miles you could tie it around your waist without adding any hassle to your system that's what you want to be aware of for that weather and you know that you're really only going to need one shell you don't need multiple rain jackets because they're going to dry pretty quickly um, after all the gear for different kinds of weather we need to talk about different kinds of light so going into that there are some specific requirements especially for ragnar relays you need specifically to have on your van two headlamps so that is a requirement and also two taillights per van now i suggest having more than that because especially if you have 12 people that's a lot of hours and sometimes batteries may go out one doesn't work things like that they're super lightweight they don't take up that much room and that they're kind of a necessity especially when you're running at night because you're not gonna be able to see, other cars won't be able to see you. So that's definitely a good thing. Also throwing some extra batteries in a Ziploc baggie, once again, keeping everything organized is going to be super helpful here. I have a couple of other things that are really gonna help you be seen in the light as well. We have these little guys here that actually blink and they go on the back of your shoe. So you can set them down there like that so that you're being reflected and people can see you all the way from behind. I have these armbands here that are super bright and I can either put them on my arms up here or on um, my calf if I don't have one of these. That's always really nice. We have this vest here which is kind of one of my favorites because it's super lightweight and it really doesn't add that much to when I'm running. It'll go around the back and it has all reflective around the side and if you can't tell these little tiny tubies here actually flash bright LEDs and they have a bunch of different settings so that you can be seen super far away. Um, and then as you know when it gets to be nighttime it will get a little bit colder usually and I have this nice extremely bright reflective running jacket here it also has reflective all around the edging and the trim so that's really nice and it has the pockets as well so I can carry all my gear I've also thought about what legs I'm going to be running when I'm packing my bag which are going to be at nighttime making sure that those are my brightest clothes options for that leg all right guys, one of the unique things about a relay race like this is that you're running on an open course. And what that means is nothing's blocked off for you. You're out there on the road with other cars, potentially cyclists, other runners, your van and your team, and you really need to make sure that your safety is your priority. I love my Aftershocks headphones for this reason. I'm able to listen to my music, my podcast, whatever keeps me motivated through those tough runs without compromising my safety. They work via bone conduction. So I put them on like this, I can hear everything through my cheekbone right there, and they're not actually sitting in the ear, so I can hear everything around me. Sirens, cars, people, I can hear everything while also still hearing my music or podcast. They're also great, of course, if you're in the van and wanna be with the group and listening to everything, but still you're winding down and you're taking your recovery periods. They work both ways. I love the battery life because, of course, I won't have a place to charge throughout the weekend, so I wanna make sure that they last the whole way through, and they do, which is awesome. You guys will really love them too. You should check out down below in the description. We've got a little deal there just for our community. Click that link down there, check them out for yourself. Let's get back into the tips on this video. So as we said, some of this gear is nice to have, but some of it is required. So make sure that you are going on to whatever relay race that you're doing, checking their website and checking their requirements for what you need to have on van that is mandatory. So next up on your packing list are your mobility tools. That's gonna to be super important for keeping your legs fresh and ready for your next run because you're gonna have points where you're doing these really hard runs and then you're coming back into the van and just sitting down for hours on end. So we have a couple of tools here that are gonna be perfect for that you can use while you're sitting in the seat and then some for after uh, once you get to your race destination or when you have those bigger chunks of, chunks of time in between. So first thing I have here, <laughs> is for my foot. This is just gonna be able to sit down. I'm gonna be able to use it while I'm sitting right in the seat. Give myself a nice little foot massage here. I got two so I can do both feet at the same time. I have my lacrosse ball here, which is perfect. I can literally just sit right on it. I can kind of work out those hips while I am sitting right in my seat. I have my band here. This may take a little bit more room. You gotta get close with your buddies. <laughs> I can kind of do some stretches up over top, 
open up those chests, kind of roll those shoulders back. Another good one would be for the calves, really, whoops, <laughs> using that and stretching them out, getting some nice stretches in there. And then I know all of you runners have one of these somewhere. I like this one because these little balls help get in a little bit deeper than I would want. And I can just sit here in my seat and use it on my quads. I can use it on my calf. I can use it on my back. I can have Holly use it on my back. <laughs> I can give her a massage. You know, as we're sitting in this van, it's perfect to use for that. Yep, and when you guys are outside of the van, there's gonna be these periods where you're actually in transition, you're pulled over and you're able to get out and do have a little bit more space to recover. Like Morgan said, it's super important that you take the time then so that you make the most of the time that you're running. That foam roller. These are great, this is a shorter one, so it can pack easy, but of course you're not gonna be able to have the space in the van, but when you do have the time to get out, you can get your quads on this, your calves, you can get your low back, even up into the shoulders, like Morgan said, you're spending so much time in here too, that we don't want the position to just fall here and be rounded over when we're running too. So being able to keep everything loose and, and uh, worked out with the foam roller is key. These two bands are great if you are about to run. So another category of besides uh, just recovering from the run you just did is how you get ready for the next one. So this is a great tool you can use. Again, this is actually fine in the van. You can put this over your ankles and pull it up just past the knees. And what I could do is just in my seated position, just work the hips open like this and start to get muscles firing that might have been stagnant or just haven't been working in a couple of hours. This is a good way to kind of refuel and get that working again. Um, you can use this longer band for a bunch of different ways. It can be used in the van. You can use it for a little bit of compression work, but of course on those brakes or right before you're about to run, you could hook this up, get your leg in there and just kick back to a lunge and just try to use it for a little assisted stretching. Again, something that's gonna help you ease back into that movement rather than just jumping out cold. All right, so to get your entire team through this weekend, you need to make sure everyone is fed, energized, and ready to go. So we're gonna cover before, during, and after for all of that running and making sure you guys get through that weekend. So first things first that we wanna cover is main meals. So if you are not gonna be coming up to any points where you can get your rest, go to a restaurant or get your meals out, you wanna make sure you have those bases covered. You're gonna have a lot of hungry runners coming in and you wanna make sure that you have stuff that's easy to grab and doesn't take a lot of prep. Some simple things we've got here, loaf of bread, bananas, peanut butter, jelly, honey. We have oatmeal here, which brings me to my coffee and tea message. Of course, if you guys are used to having that in the mornings or just before you run in general, if you can bring like a mobile uh, water heater, something that you would use camping or something like that, there's tons of stuff out there. That'll allow you to make that oatmeal, make that coffee and tea as you would. We of course, little mugs you can bring, you can kind of uh, reuse through here. These kind of Contigo mugs actually keep things hot for close to 24 hours. If you get water in there and mix it up, you won't even need to heat your water in that first day. Um, these things are all great, especially if you're not gonna have access to your meals, but they'll keep you full. Also, during your runs, you're gonna wanna be fueled too. So I have all my goos here just in one bag to keep everything organized. I'll even take a couple of these goos out and throw them like we showed you in our gear. So in those bags, I'll know exactly what I'll need for each leg, because some are shorter than others, longer. So I kind of think about that before even packing my bags. We have some picky bars here. We have some you can bars that'll keep you fueled. This one's even got a little caffeine in it. I think our driver could probably use some. We have our single servings of the UCAN pouches, so you can just pour them right into your bottles, so you can stash them on you as you're running. We have some extra salt pills here, because especially like we talked about earlier, it can get really hot. So maybe you'll want to just have one or two of those, so you don't actually have to eat a lot of food to get those electrolytes. We also have some emergency, you know, you are pretty close quarters here. That might come in handy to kind of, you guys are, staying up late and getting no sleep and stuff like that so a little bit of extra vitamins is definitely not going to hurt you then as we go over here we'll talk about our snacks so our kind of like just pick at in between these are our bigger meals down here our during the run and then just kind of like to pick at i have some fruit some apples grapes here super easy some Chex mix here that you can just like pour out into the cups and then individual size like baggies of popcorn chips things like that just so that you can pick at them nice and easily and they don't have to be closed back up you can just 
toss it when you are done. And that'll bring us to how do we clean up after all of this? <laughs> it is super important, guys. You'll be in and out of this stuff so much. People are running at different times. You want to keep things clean and as l least smelly as possible. <laughs> I think that's going to be a key pro tip for the van. So we just have some basic things here, some wet wipes. That's going to be the little singles are super easy. You use one, throw it away. Um, we have cups, which we believe to be kind of the spore of, <laughs> of bringing all of your food to you the easiest way. Cups, kind of that mix between a bowl and a plate super easy to use. Um, and these actually have lids as well in case you are gonna make that coffee or tea. Make sure you have utensils. An environmentally pro tip here, if you do wanna be the best friend to the environment you can be, would be everyone bringing their own cup and utensils and then washing them themselves. So taking ownership over just your utensils and cups and making sure that you are responsible for that. If not, of course it is easiest to just grab that disposable fork, knife, spoon, throw those away when you're done. We've got paper towels here. And of course, guys, a place to dispose of all that trash. We actually just have a roll of little trash bags that we just fill, make sure we're throwing out when we can. And then other than that, just making sure you're tidying everything up each and every time you go in and out of that bag. Now, hydration definitely deserves its own section of this video because it is so important. We are gonna start with this big cooler here. This is the best way to make sure that every runner can fill up all of their various utensils and bottles and everything as they need. You, of course, can fill this big guy up at different exchange points to make sure you always have enough water, but you need a main source in the van, and this is the best way to do that. Um, a couple things you can use. These are uh, reusable cups. They kind of fold up. They basically take up no space. This is an easy way to get a quick drink without having to actually take a top off a bottle or anything like that. They can also hook on to you if need be. Um, some handheld water bottles. This is depending on how long your leg is and how long you'll be needing the water when you're running. Um, these are a couple of different options. This one comes with just a body bottle. It's just super easy, folds up and then just slips in hold it by hand. And then this one, same thing, that's a little harder and a little smaller, but it also has a zipper in here that you can hold stuff with. So going off of that, if you're maybe having a longer leg, maybe you only have a six person team, you're gonna be out there a little bit longer, you may wanna think about a vest. So this vest here can hold my cell phone, which is tucked right in here. This one actually has the water pack built in, so I can use that. Personally, I'm a big fan of the water bottles, the soft flasks, because they're just easier to fill up on the go, and I can tuck them right in here. I also have this um, belt on that you can use, the naked belt, and I can stuff a bunch of my goos in there, and I can take the water and fit it in behind me here. And that's just gonna be an easy way to carry while you're out there so you don't have to make as many stops because obviously this is a race and you are trying to go for time here. Then I can also take a couple of these packets if I want some extra hydration and I can stick this in here as well too and just be on my way and be fully hydrated throughout the entire race. And guys, we recommend that, of course, everyone take ownership over their own hydration system. We can't stress that enough. It's up to you to make sure you've got your own things worked out, just like everything else. The food can be more communal, but making sure you are hydrated through your whole run is vital. Now, don't be one of those people that specifically avoids hydrating so that you can minimize your bathroom stops. The van is part of this whole shindig. You are out here running. You want to feel good start to finish. So skimping, especially on that first leg, is going to leave you feeling absolutely terrible by the third or however many runs you have to do this day. So make sure you're staying on top of everything. You are here to run. You want to feel good start to finish. All right, so this next section, we're going to be talking about how hashtag van life do you want to be with some toiletries and some sleeping kits? Do you want to be more of a Morgan or a Holly? We'll see. <laughs> so first we want to talk about sleep. So super important to get as much sleeping time as you possibly can. If you are a light sleeper, you have trouble sleeping, try to bring as much, but also as little things as you can to kind of help. So here I have some noon rest and just like plop it in. I get my electrolytes, but it's also got a little bit of melatonin, helps me recover. In here, I just packed some earplugs because you know everybody else might be rowdy and getting ready for their run but I'm gonna put those in so that I can take a little nap I got myself a pillow over here this is just a regular pillow or I have this camp pillow that really squishes up really small but when it opens up you got a nice little pillow and that'll help you sleep also bringing something like a blanket that's gonna help as well also talking about toiletries so ladies bring as much toilet paper as you can possibly shove in this van <laughs> because you might not have bathroom stops. So the 
world is going to be your bathroom. But also along with that, we have the flushable compostable wipes to help clean everything out. Also for hand and face as well too, just after, after you come back in and you want to put on those clean resting clothes, you just kind of want to wipe down. It's like a shower in a bag. Next, I have a little kit in here of just like my necessities that I take when I travel with me. Ibuprofen, deodorant for the sake of everybody in the van, please. <laughs> if it's gonna be super sunny, some aloe to help you get prepared for the next leg. Once again, sunscreen, we don't wanna forget about that. I have this nice facial toner, which will definitely take you to a holly, just go a little <laughs> and you're revitalized, a little rose water in there. Trader Joe's, Perfect. you know, exactly. Um, a hairbrush, things like that. I also have some BioFreeze that's super helpful with recovery. Kind of chill my muscles out a little bit and get me ready for the next leg. Also, super, super important for everybody else on the team if you bring a toothbrush and some toothpaste. We just talked about how much water you have, so no excuses. Holly, what else we got over here? Um, one thing she didn't mention, which I find super important, <laughs> dry shampoo works wonders and you really, <laughs> Can get by without that shower this is a great addition also smells good which again for the team that's a huge plus now getting into a little bit more technical side depending on how far you guys are running at a time these are a couple of my essentials especially with trail running but of course for any kind of road stuff too um some z store powder this stuff just absorbs moisture so if you are dealing in more humid or wet conditions throwing a little bit of this in your socks shoes even your sports bra um, is a great way to sop up that extra moisture and avoid help avoid chafing and blisters because you're running multiple legs that can come up um, this is great tape it's very thin stretchy like kinesio tape um, this stuff is great of course it to prevent blisters and stuff like that, uh, but also just to help remedy when they do come up. Um, and then the last thing here is a pair of scissors. Small pair is probably best, um, but making sure you have something in the van because they will be necessary at some point, whether it's opening the food or something else or cutting that tape. Uh, lastly, guys, a yoga mat is just a super versatile thing. If you can squeeze it in the van or even roll it under uh, the back row of seats here, you can use it if someone wants to stretch out and sleep on it or use it to recover or stretch in between those legs. Um, it's great. You can also roll it up, use it as kind of a multi-person pillow if you want. Um, that about does it for our toiletry and sleep section. Yes, because we can't all be like Coach Nora over here <laughs> and have our own beds. We need to make sure that we are ready. But the last thing, Holly, is I think this is also more of like maybe a girl thing, is this changing towel because this is it. This is all the space that you have. This towel here is great. It's got one hook on the end and it's got all these different layers. So if I want to change out of my gross sweaty clothes, all I do is wrap this around, hook it in and now I'm hands free and I can get changed nice and easily. So just a couple little last minute tips that I have for you on packing your van is you're actually driving a van guys right this is a vehicle so we want to think about our vehicle safety as well too so i highly highly suggest throwing in a pack of jumper cables just in case make sure that you've filled up on gas does it need an oil change things like that you have the spare tire somewhere in the van as well too and that maybe somebody on your team knows how to change a spare tire if you don't checking to see does anybody in the group have triple a something along those lines maybe it's something good to sign up for also for your own personal safety i really highly suggest having a first aid kit in the van you guys are running it's going to be dark under lots of different conditions so this is something super important to have um, especially with that many people a couple little last minute things your chargers guys we want to keep a full charge especially to have those cell phones charged if we get into any kind of unfortunate circumstances so as most chargers have these days they have the usb plug with the regular thing as you can see in this van it does come equipped with an actual plug so i can plug that in with this so make sure they're remembering maybe finding some kind of also adapter that can go in the outlet there that can change it into this plug so you can charge multiple things at a time i also like to come super prepared and i brought my own toolkit this just is gonna come with some extra reflectivity, maybe to go on the outside of the van. I have tape and flashlight and assorted number of tools just in case anything happens. Yeah, get a little, it's all purple. It's because that's my favorite color. So that's what my toolkit is. You may bring whatever color toolkit you would like, but I just highly suggest having one on board.
well fed, well rested, and what else will they be? <laughs> well prepared. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> what fun would... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One more time. I got it. Be prepared for this. Probably just the whole loaf of bread. Just the entire loaf. Brain. <laughs> Mind and brain came at the same time. Oh. <laughs> I need a transition. <laughs> Morgan, you're a grape jelly. Well, I like blackberry too, but this was on sale. Yeah, I like some. I like some fake jelly. What? <laughs> I. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh. Right over that. <laughs> Where are we going? And guys, don't forget about your Aftershocks headphones. These really are awesome. They make this experience so much better individually and as a team. So click the link down in the description. You can get a pair for yourself down there. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and drop any additional comments you have down in the comments below if you have any extra tips for us on packing your van. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get these videos to your inbox each and every week. Thanks again for following along with all this information and tips we have. We will catch you guys in the next video. We're off to our race. Let's go.